What is a useless talent you have? I am genetically unable to get brain freeze. I can chug an entire slushy without consequence. I'm jealous of this one. I can fold a fitted sheet so well that it looks indiscernible from a folded flat sheet. Which? I can do a ton of voices. You'd think it would be useful. But I've been trying to get into voice acting for 20 years. Edit. Thank you everyone. I should reiterate. I gave up trying in my 20s. I try every now and then. But I haven't really put the work in as I should. I don't have a quality make. Or a portfolio. But you guys have really inspired me. I'm much more interested in voice acting for gaming. I can do cartoonish voices. But I do best in something more dramatic. I can count the letters in any sentence while the sentence is being spoken and still pay attention to what the person is saying. I've done this since I was around 10. It's compulsive. I can't quit doing it. Edit. I keep a list of 10 letter words in my mind. That is what the whole counting thing is about. Finding 10 letter words. I'm weirdly good at recognizing fonts. In college my graphic design prof had us watch a documentary on Helvetica and now I see it everywhere. With a couple of warm ups to get the weight. I can flip a coin for the same result consecutively a bunch of times. My record is 44. Can usually reliably do at least 20 every time. Works best with a UK 2 pence piece. How many of us just realized we have no talent? Much less a useless one? That's your talent. I'm really good at catching things that are falling because I clumsily knock them over. I'm like an oaf in the front half of a second. And a ninja on the back half. I have roughly the same number of spills as the average person. But with extra steps. I've done it with multiple falling objects. Behind my back. With my feet. Things usually don't hit the ground around me. I can put my legs behind my head. I've yet to be kidnapped but hope it may be useful then. Blink twice if you're being held hostage. I can't move my ears independent from my face and vibrate my eyes. No idea why. Hey so can I. Being able to pick things up with my toes when I'm too lazy to bend down. Me too. I can turn round doorknobs with my toes too. I can fck up pretty much anything. Now look here fucker. I've worked for decades perfecting my craft of fking shit up. And I'm not gonna have some amateur show up and try to horn in on my cornered market. I've fk shit up in absolutely amazing ways. Ways you couldn't even imagine. I'm the best at fking shit up. Nobody can fck shit up better than me. Believe me. I fck shit up by the pussy. Dot. Wait. What was the question? I can say wacky waving inflatable arm flailing tube man really fast over and over. I'm really good at saying Irish wristwatch quickly. I once entered a talent competition playing the recorder using my nose. The judges were confused and decided I wasn't worthy of first place. Those judges had no vision. Please tell me there is a video of this talent. I can't hit just about anything within 60 feet or so with a rock. I grew up on a farm. And spend countless hours on our gravel road picking up rocks. And firing away at stuff. Mostly fence posts. There are some guys doing something like that and making good money. But with a basketball instead of a rock though. I can think of a song to fit any situation or at least change the lyrics of one to fit. I do it automatically without even thinking. It only takes me a second and is completely pointless. Oh my god me too. Even if I just hear a word I immediately know a song with that word in it. I can eat fast. Like real fast. I feel your pain. I have to consciously slow down when eating with people. Otherwise it's kinda awkward just sitting there while they finish. I can hula hoop forever. I didn't think it was a talent until I realized no one can do it that I know. This is useless because I don't even do it anymore. I was blown away when I went to a bar that had hula hoops and people could not hula hoop. I thought it was just something everyone could do indefinitely. 
I can take a nap for a specified amount of time. Like say 22 minutes. I also know right before a timer is about to go off. My dad does the same thing. He calls it a 22 minute reset when he's about to take a nap. He sets up an alarm. The first 2 minutes are for him to fall asleep. And the rest is for when he's sleeping. He always wakes up just seconds before his alarm goes off. I can write without looking. Theoretically. I could write an essay blindfolded. I can do it for a few paragraphs before it all goes to shti and I end up writing over words. It's great for note taking in college and uni. I sing Gregorian chant on pitch and accurately. Practicing it at least one hour. Per day. But it's a useless skill as there are no chant choirs or need for it in my area. I tend to remember good solutions to extremely insignificant questions. Questions that are never asked because they don't matter to anyone. Do you by chance have an example? I'm super curious. Can write backwards in cursive upside down fluently. Three thoughts. First. That's cool -eth. Second. What does that even look like? Third. That seriously sounds like a secret way to summon demons or something. Name a recorded song that I've heard before. And I can sing in tune with it before you pull it up on your music app. I otherwise have no major musical talent. Perfect pitch is a major musical talent. I can pull apart two pieces of flat lego without using my teeth. This is a very useful talent. I can bend my knees backwards so my knee has an about 140-150 degree angle, never measured it. I was originally gonna ask for a picture. But honestly I don't think I wanna see it. I can make my skull vibrate. Close bracket. I think your skeleton is ready to hatch. Jerk off with my left hand. I'm right handed but I jerk off with my left hand. I can do a very good death growl. Don't think it will ever be of use as I don't have a band and I would be embarrassed to do it. Apocalypse. Lost in the woods. Strangers approaching. Death growl. I can throw cards. Throwing cards is fun as shit. I can disappoint anyone. This comment has already disappointed me. I can switch accents that are actually convincing mid-convo. Likewise. Confuses people from different cultures. Love it. No shti I can bend my thumb far enough behind the hand that I can touch my knuckles with it. Boom. Drop the mic. I have a similar talent. I can bend my pinky finger back far enough to touch the back of my wrist. I can bring my arms back over my head from behind my back. Without unhooking? Comma my hands from each other. Best I can explain it. Can you keep them parallel and without bending the elbows at all? Grew up doing gymnastics and some of the girls could. It looked creepy as all hell. I can tell by the sounds of many different songbirds when there is a bird of prey flying overhead. I got very confused at a local supermarket with the amount of different bird calls. Then I found out it was a recording of different birds to discourage pigeons from roosting there. I have none. But my husband. Name almost any dead celebrity and he can tell you where they are buried. Sometimes he can tell you who they are buried next to. Damn does he have anything to do with their deaths. I can throw up on command. Gross and not nearly as useful as crying. You can get out of so many things with vomiting. Don't want to be at work? Vomit. Someone pisses you off? Vomit on them. Someone tries to attack you? Vomit on them. See someone parked in two spots? Vomit on their car. As someone that can fake cry. Vomiting would be a lot more useful in my daily life. I can win literally any argument. So long as I am having it alone in the shower. I can move my ears up and down. Freaks the hell out of people who see it for the first time. If you're wondering. I went to a school where twisting your ears was an appropriate form of punishment. One teacher twisted my left ear a little too hard one day and soon enough I could move it. Same thing happened to my other ear a year later. I can cut my hands together and shoot water 10-12 FT in a straight line. 
It's like always having a water gun on me. When I do it without water it makes a fart noise. Which is like always having a hoopy cushion. Colon. Comma edit. Grammar edit. Grammar. Always put the USB in the right way on the first try. Which. I'm not 100% accurate but I can look at people and tell where they're from without hearing them speak a single word. I'm American and can do this with Americans as well as non-Americans. Example. Last summer I had a group of five and I identified two Belgians. A French and a German. One was so unbelievably impressed that he offered me $50 if I could precisely identify the fifth person. A woman. In the group. I looked at her. Guessed French Algiers. And won the most unlikely $50 of my life. I'm a small legend in my line of work and the tourists are dumbfounded every fking time. I can make my eyes vibrate to make it look like I've been possessed. Nor for long though. It kinda hurts. Ooh I can do that too but when I do I initiate seizures lol. I can blow bubbles off of my tongue and make them dance by waving my hand. Especially useless now with covid. Or useful if you're a psychopath. Can fart and suck it back in and fart again continually. Get a vape. Blow smoke rings with your butt. Make a fortune on OnlyFans. I can laugh genuinely with a completely straight face. It creeps people out. I genetically don't produce body odor. B. O. Close bracket. I'd say that's useful. I can crawl on all fours extremely fast. I found this out as a teenager in taekwondo. We did a lot of weird exercises in our workouts. Crawling was one and I got tagged into crawl to one side of the gym and back and went fast AF. I burned everyone. I crawl like a rock skipping across a pond. I even surprised myself and remember some people laughing at the time. It definitely must look strange lol. I did it at home a few times to show people but it gives rug burn very easy. I can tell you which chip flavor goes best with different sandwiches. Overthinking everything to the point that it's hard for you to sleep because of your racing mind. I once went beneath a post with the question. What's your quickest way of falling asleep? Or something like that. Someone said adding to a series. Which would be my demise because my brain has to finish this thought. I answered beneath that what truthfully helped me. I have insane memory. It just only works on the most random information. Like. I know a math problem I was given in 4th grade, it wasn't even a huge topic. Just a random question on a test. But I have no idea what I had for lunch the other day. I can play guitar. Drums. Trumpet. And French horn. Don't make money off of any of them lol. I can balance almost anything on the palm of my open hand. Rake. Golf club. Shovel. Open ladder. Work and alcoholism. I can solve a Rubik's Cube in around 9 seconds. Unless I get faster it's not like I can make money from it or anything lol. Tongue twisters. I have a knack for them and no one has beaten me in red lorry yellow lorry speed. I can laugh at the same meme over and over. I have a big DCK but it'll never be useful. Big DCK and premature ejaculator here. Please kill me. At this point I just have to get drunk as FCK to hope to not be worthless. If anyone has the same problem as me. Foreplay is key I I I I I I I I to make sure your partner has a good time. I can see M abnormally large amounts and shoot it to around half a foot. I never forget a face. If I've seen it once I'll remember it if I ever see it again. Pictures are a little harder because it's a frozen moment in time and they may never look the same way. Case in point. When I was 12 my dad introduced me to a guy and we chatted for a few moments. Almost 30 years later my dad and I were out and I said. Dad. Is that so and so? And sure enough. It was and my dad was able to reconnect with someone he hadn't seen in 20 years. I have a hyper realistic impression of a dog bark. My friends will think there is an actual dog around and get disappointed when they realize that it was me. I can balance coins on their edges. 
pennies, nickels, dimes, quarters. You name the coin and I can find a way to balance it on its narrow edge. For one. There's a gene in my family that makes it so weed physically cannot affect us. No matter what or how much we have. Then there's the fact that I'm really good at spinning a bow staff. But I can't fight with it. I can deep throat things much longer than any penis narcissa. I can recite the entirety of the emperor's new groove. With sound effects and background music. Perfectly in my head. My demonstration of such a skill does. Unfortunately. Require a diminution in quality of my performance. I have a near perfect world map. Diagram of the human mouth. And the family tree of Proto-Indo-European in my head but forget what people say as they say it. I have mildly psychic dreams. Sometimes. About totally useless things. Most of the time it manifests as me dreaming about a house I've never been in. Then I approach the house Iral months. Sometimes years later and I can describe the interior layout and decor of the house. I'm really really good at guessing the appropriate container size for quantities of food or liquid. For example when I make soup I don't measure what I put in the pot or use a recipe but it'll always come out as exactly 1 or 2 or 3 quarts on the nose. My boyfriend gets excited whenever I cook and put food away to see if I f ked up this time. But I never do. I have eidetic memory. Not perfect but extremely good. Gets worse the older I get but it was great for school. Reach T once. Never forget the details. If I knock the top of my head with my knuckles while I have my mouth open I can make a hollow noise. I'm an ear rumbler. I can do it on command and always thought of it as like. Closing my ears. From an early age. I typically do it when something is too loud. But can do it whenever I want. Same I didn't realize it was a thing until someone else on reddit commented about it and linked an article and I was like what some people can't do that.